So OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, has announced a brand new venture called Sora. It's an artificial intelligence model capable of generating video from text, videos like the one you see right now. This is AI video and just one example of Sora's capabilities. And although it's not available to the public yet, it does promise to push the boundaries of what's possible with artificial intelligence. Wow. <laughs> Emmanuel Saliba, you cover all things AI for us. What do you make of this? I mean, it's groundbreaking stuff. Yeah, and I mean, Kira, right now, we aren't going to be able to use this tool at home, but the company did want to show the public the capacity that they had to generate realistic video from simple verbal cues. But they're not the first to do it. There are other companies on the market like Pika Labs and Runway who have been developing these text-to-video models. Um, they say to help filmmakers and creatives and artists have access to this type of technology. Now, OpenAI says they're not ready to release this to the public because there are important safety concerns that they want to take a look at before it's publicly available. So they're going to misinformation experts, um, hateful content experts, uh, content experts to take a look at the tool, test it for different scenarios and risks before it's publicly available. But they have not given us a date yet. Speaking of risks, you know, we're approaching, well, we're in a big election year. You know, come November, we're going to find out who's going to be the next president of the United States. There's always been a threat about with AI and information and politics. Um, how, how are companies thinking about that uh, at this time? Well, 20 major companies, uh, tech companies, announced today that they're going to work to prevent uh, deceptive AI from impacting global elections. Because it's not just our country voting, but 4 billion people in 40 countries around the world are going to be voting this year. So these big companies, Adobe, Microsoft, X, TikTok, have mm -hmm. all come together. So. And they said they're going to be agreeing to a certain set of voluntary measures that they're going to take to help prevent deceptive AI from interfering in elections. So think about things like audio, um, audio images or videos of political candidates saying or doing something they didn't say. That can potentially impact a vote. Well, these companies are going to be looking out for that on their platform. They're going to want to detect it, label it, and they announced a whole set of eight measures that they hope will encourage governments to take action. All right, Emmanuel Saliba, thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.